Hi everyone, this is Connie AZ21. We have another diamond painting tonight. This one is 40 by 30. It is a full drill and it is a square drill. This is my second one. I hope this one goes better than the first. You get the standard kit, tray, wax, tweezers, pen with a, I believe that is a nine placer. There are 34 colors, which I have already got organized. Now we're going to look at the canvas. Um, this canvas had a lot of little frays along the edge, which I have already trimmed. Anyway, this is what it looks like. The drill fill looks clear. Uh, they're all distinguishable. Doesn't seem like any of fuzzy or hard to see. So. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my light pad out so I don't mess this up. I want to make sure I'm very careful this time. So let me pause it and I will be back in a minute. This is a helpful hint I watched on YouTube and I apologize but I cannot remember who suggested it. Take an old gift card or something and put along your edge and it helps get your first ones nice and straight. And I believe it has done that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a little bit, and then when I get a little more done, we'll come back and see how it works. Be back in a little bit. And they just snap right in place like they belong there. And as you can see, they seem nice and straight. Let's see if we can get a little closer. All right. I have got this section done and I am so pleased with it and whoever showed the video on using a gift card along the edge I cannot thank you enough this is so nice and straight it's even they play so much better and they look a hundred percent better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I don't know who you are, and I'm so sorry. But, we're going to continue on here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because this is a large one, and it's, I'm going pretty slow with it, because I want it to look extra nice. So, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is work on it a wee bit, and then I am going to pause it and then just give you updates as I get a section completed. Maybe a little bit in between somewhere. But this credit card is, or not credit card, it's an old gift card. Um, such a fabulous idea. I just, I can't get over how much of a difference it makes. Anyway, so let's do a little painting here. section complete and well okay, I have almost we're gonna finish this up right here I'm a little over halfway done so I wanted to give you a little update here um I may run out of one of my colors and it's one of the greens but I'm not sure yet but I'm really really low said before, I kind of had a feeling I was not going to have enough of one of the colors. And that color is 3012. And it's kind of a drab olive green. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is. But as you can see, I have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 drills left and I need which means I'm one two three four five five short so that is not really going to be a big deal because I can use I think, let's see 
see, I've got three colors here that are pretty similar. I just need to decide which one is the closest. And I think, because that one's more, a little darker, that one's too brown, and I think this last one, which is actually color number 371, is going to help me complete this. So let me get these two out of the way. Okay, we're ready to put the last three in. And if you noticed, I left my old uh, gift cards around the edge till they were totally complete on both sides. I used two of them. That way I get a nice straight corner. Okay, ta-da! It's done. Well, I decided I wanted to go ahead and frame this. And what I'm using is, I got this at Walmart. It is a 12 by 18 by Mainstay. And I've never done any point like this before. It's, you work it from the front. This is the back. Make sure you got the top. And this was on the inside, and I'm just going to use that as my background. Now, it is a little bit wider, but the rest of it fits in here really well, so I just have to make sure I get this as even as possible. This is a polished edged glass. I'm going to set it in there and pull it. Got that one. Got that one. And that's it. All right. Thank you for joining me. Hope you like this little video. Give it a thumbs up. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. The, I did have one issue with the canvas. It had, I believe they call them rivers. And once you scrape them and you flatten them out, I didn't have any other problem. Drill stuck perfectly. There you go. Thank you. More to come.